My God, he's living. See how he stands in and breathes. My God, he's moving. See how he follows me. Look at his eyes now. Wonder what they can't see. Look at his size now. Tall as a tree, is he? What's in his mind now? What kind of thoughts could this beast have? Is he aware now? Wonder if he knows who I am. What will he do now? Can I control his might? He could be dangerous. I've got to keep him locked up tight. Well, hello, my name is Clay Nielsen. I am the uh, owner of ABOB, and I'm also serving as a co director uh, for Frankenstein, the rock opera, which is a a, a fantastic undertaking by an incredibly talented man, uh, Tom Todd, who has written just a, a, a host of some of the, the best um, music that we've, we've come across in a musical. Um, and uh, in a story that, that includes a, a lot of dramatic elements and, and let us do a lot of different things with the stage. Um, some of the things we'll be doing with the stage are, as per usual, um, we have not done them here before, um, so we're going to be taking some new steps, learning some new things as we, uh, as we go through this. Uh, the, um, the basic premise of the show is that um, it starts with Dr. Frankenstein animating the monster, and um, we're going to be accompanying that with some of the, the crazy special effects that will be coming off, the little uh, sparks running up the, the Jacob's Ladder, and some other really interesting and very Halloween-y things. So um, I think it's going to be a, a, a visually very appealing show. And because of the music that uh, Mr. Todd has written, it's going to be just a, a delight to the ears as well. My name is Tom Todd, and I wrote Frankenstein, the rock opera. I was always moved by Jesus Christ Superstar, the power of it, and Phantom of the Opera, the beauty of it, the music. And I wanted to write something like that, combining a little bit of rock and roll feeling with beautiful violins, uh, some beautiful singing, some beautiful ballads, and some really action-based songs. Oh, this, I loved the, to bring in another story, the Beauty and the Beast theme of Frankenstein is hated by the villagers mainly because of his appearance. It turns out he has a, a warm, a heart of gold, but he, everything's based on appearance. And other things that happen in the village, uh, people are being brought up or put down according to their appearance. And I want to bring out, you know, how uh, appearance should not be the basis of how we judge people. Uh, I think it goes back a good 20 years. Uh, I was helping someone else put a show together and uh, just helping with the music and I started having these little ideas that just popped up in my own mind. I had to do a lot of traveling in my own musical shows that I had to go around playing and I had to do a lot of traveling and I'd be driving along and these songs would just come to me. And uh, I, I didn't even work at trying to find these songs. They just would come to me while I was driving, while I had free time, and I just wrote them down and it all fell into place. Well, as the original story, the doctor creates the monster, 
but it turns out there's uh, political unrest in the village. The doctor's laboratory gets broken into and the monster escapes. And he goes into the village and gets caught up in all that political unrest. And some evil people use the monster as a tool for them to gain power. And the monster's quite innocent through all this. In the end, the doctor has a chance to maybe save the monster and uh, he fails at that point. My name is Thompson Sherwood Woolert and I'm playing the part of the monster for this performance. I get to be <laughs> big and powerful and get to do <laughs> pretty much act the part I, I enjoy doing it. I am six foot eight and around 350. <laughs> judging her for what she looks like pretty similar to the monster story actually and she just wants people to see what she is inside instead of just what she looks like on the outside I'm currently going to Lakeland Community College in Kirtland and I'm currently looking at different schools to go to to pursue pursue a degree in musical theater I've been doing theater, I've been on stage my whole life in various choirs. I've been doing theater since I was in the fifth grade. Um, that started with uh, Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and uh, got bit by the bug. And it's just, I just love it so much. This show in particular, it's got a great story. Um, you know, just seeing beyond what people look like and actually seeing them for who they are and it's just really fun and we've got a fun cast and it's just gonna be a blast. The fact that he wrote it, wow. Um, I could never come up with a musical like that. I mean he's been working on it for 20 plus years and I've always thought you know maybe I could write a musical like I can't, I mean, I, that takes a special kind of person to create something beautiful like a musical. <laughs> Friends, I've got some 
more news to tell you. That Pipperton doesn't want you to hear. Listen, this enemy is already among us. <laughs> At least one of them is living quite near. Uh, my name is Tyler Kogar. I'm from Madison, Ohio. Um, I'm playing the part of Braston. He is the um, main antagonist of the show. He's really evil. He pretty much is out for himself. He's greedy and um, fear-mongering and just all about himself. And I relate to that a lot, you know. <laughs> um, I've actually played a villain um, multiple times, like six or seven times before, so um, I'm kind of used to being like the mean guy, like the, the douche <laughs> of the show, the antagonist, like um, I'm used to it. Um, but it's, it's, really, it's different because it's all singing, um, so that's, that's definitely different. He's, he's probably the meanest character I've ever played. He's really, there's not really a good shred about him. Which is kind of nice. It's kind of it's kind of fun to play someone who has like absolutely no redeeming qualities. <laughs> um, favorite part of the show is probably um, well, well, I guess I'm working with a lot of people I've never worked with before, which I think is um, always fun. Um, being an ABOB, you work with a lot of the same people sometimes, which has it, which is good because um, you get to get to be familiar with people. But working with new people, you get to see different sides of theater, you get to see different sides of people's acting and different voices, and that helps you grow as an actor. And I think that's, that's probably my favorite part is I'm seeing so many new viewpoints of acting and viewpoints of stage and theater and music and performance, and I, I really like that. The music, um, it's definitely different than anything I've done before. It's like total rock and roll, um, total um, power voice, um, fast music. Um, it's really, really different than anything that we've done at ABOB and that I've done personally. Um, so it's, re it's really high energy and um, you guys are going to like it. Um, I'm Alexandra Lung and I'm playing Bedelia, one of the trio. I moved to South Carolina for a couple of years to pursue my career and found an opportunity back in Ashtabula, which I was thrilled about because it's my hometown and it'll be the first time I've been in theater or sung in front of anyone in a couple of years. So. Very much looking forward to it. I think the music is very well written. I think it's um, it's it's a little rock. It's a little opera. It's it's nice. Hi, my name is Ed Resitek, and I'm playing the Graham Pimperton character in this play, Frankenstein Rock Opera. I'm really happy to be here. I think the Pimperton character is uh, an interesting guy that. Uh, a bit pompous, which uh, I hope you pick up in the play. And uh, being election time, I think a lot of people are going to be able to identify with, with Pimperton and, and what he represents. I think it's, it's really interesting. Uh, I've never been in this type of musical before, and it's really been a challenge running the lines because the lead is, I've always had somebody beside me, and I'm kind of by myself a lot. But it's been a challenge, and it's been a uh, I'm hoping a great opportunity to express uh, what I feel the character is. And Tom has done an excellent job in uh, bringing the music out and presenting it, and I'm just happy to be here. I describe this go as an adventure. People are going to come and they think Frankenstein is an evil character, and they see all the gloom gloom. And this, this play takes Frankenstein and makes him a, a innocent, almost an innocent bystander. And the evildoer is actually one of the, ma the main characters that uh, uh, a boisterous type individual. So it's gonna be an exciting adventure to whoever wants to come and watch it. Well, they, first of all, they come to be entertained and to uh, maybe spark a little bit of a adventure in their life, to spark a little bit of a uh, I told you so type of thing. The character goes through a, a progression, and all the characters, they progress, and you see what uh, uh, violence and can cause, and different personalities develop. Um, they should definitely come see the show so that they can hate me. Um, <laughs> and they should see the show because it's, um, one, it's an original production, um, which is ama it's an amazing undertaking, and it's an um, 
just an amazing production. It's it's all um, it's very well done, um, and it's definitely it's it's a different tone than what we've been doing at ABOB here. So you're gonna you're gonna get something new out of coming to the show. Because it's gonna be a blast, and it'll be a lot of fun to see right near Halloween. I couldn't think of a better show to see around that time. Like I said, it's. It's a really fun show. It's a really fun cast. It's got a great meaning behind it. And it's just, you'll, you'll leave the theater feeling satisfied. When you leave the theater after seeing this show, it will change your perspective on life in general and the way you see people. And you will just have a great time while you're here. I think it's exciting, the action, and the music that supports the action really moves along quickly. And, and yet there are some very pretty ballads, I think, that are, are very enjoyable. And I think the theme of the show, bottom line, is the most important. Seeing what's within a person and judging from that, not on how they look. Um, I think Conneaut residents and area residents have a, a unique opportunity here um, to come and see a show which is, is really not been shown to other people before. Um, this show has has music that's um, it's 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 first rate music. It's it, I hesitate to say a Broadway class, but I think um, it it has those those qualities that that would lend itself to to playing in larger venues as well. Um, and for that to come to a, a place like Conneaut, a, a small theater like ours. Um, um, I think it's just an incredible opportunity for people. Um, it's an incredible opportunity that usually people in, in larger cities are, are the only ones who are, are able to take advantage of. Um, it's it, it's going it's lively. It's uh, it's it's got a little bit of humor in it. It's um, it's poignant in in many many places. And there's some songs that will will come close to bringing the audience to tears. So, um, you know, I think, it's, I think it's a very moving show, and I, I think that anybody who comes to see it will, um, will be taking advantage of a tremendous opportunity for the area. Yes, there is already a foreign man among us, spying and lying here for years at a time. You won't believe it when I tell you who this man is. My friend, it's Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein, he's no enemy. Tell me what has he ever done? Frankenstein, you all know the man. He never bothered anyone. That's where you're mistaken. That's where you're wrong. That's why your citizens are all being fooled. He's different. He's unlike other people. 